so data modeling concepts uh, here we'll try to learn uh, the different techniques that we are going to use for data modeling in uh, data warehouse so you already got it that uh, this data warehouse is based on uh, multi-dimensional data model and that shows the data in the form of a data cube i hope you all are aware with uh, that whenever we talk about cube the main important thing that we have to uh, focus is is uh, is its dimension right such as data cube like sales that uh, allows data to be modeled and viewed in different dimensions like you know item item name brand type or time day week month quarter year so this item name brand type then similarly for time this day week month quarter and year so what are they exactly can anybody tell me okay very good so that is our dimension okay so like for this item for this time you may consider this item name brand type day week month quarter year they are different dimensions then what is factor so from the day from the time it's uh act table means what it is going to deal with this facts related to these different attributes right like you know measures such as dollars and keys to each of the related dimension table. so pack table is the one which actually contains different measures and the way how you are going to deal with the dimension tables then next some technical terms you will get here Okay, some technical terminology that you have to know because the current days, you know, uh, either you are you're working with Oracle or you are working with, uh, say, a Python. And then suppose you are working with MATLAB or whatever it is, you'll find these terms and they are being already implemented there, right? So in data warehouse literature, an ND base cube is known as a base cuboid and this n d stands for what n dimension okay so what do you mean to say that n dimensional base cube is known as a base cuboid so now the topmost zero d cuboid which holds the highest level of summarization is known as a pax cuboid we have logo the hand in topmost zero d cuboid so zero dimension means kya ho gaya abhi humne jo jitne bhi different attributes hain we are actually uh, considering them at one uh, time means uh, considering them as a one single attribute right so zero d means what happens so everything is being summarized here right if you if you go for the specialization then only you will get different dimensions different attributes but when you are at the topmost layer when you are at the zero d cuboid then that will only contain the highest level of summarization right and that thing is known as uh, in our machine learning and these things ai as a pax cuboid to remember this term a pax cuboid Right, then the lattice of this cube which form a data cube. So, abhi is particular slide me have a bunch of technical terms. So first of all, I told you already that what is multi-dimensional data table. Few examples of data cubes like sales, item, time, and with respect to its different dimension. Then I have discussed about the fact table. Then starting from the base cuboid, apex cuboid, and the lattice of that cuboid. Let's move ahead. Now look at this figure very, very carefully. I'm giving one minute of time to 
uh, analyze this figure and you'll tell me that how you are going to read or how you are going to actually fill with this type of figure. Even you can take a screenshot here. Okay, anyone can. Okay, so this is a cube, a piece of cube watch. Now let's try to understand what exactly this dimension refers in this cube watch. First, as I have told you that the highly summarized one, the highly summarized one, I call that as an apex cuboid, right? Zero dimensional. So you will see that this is the topmost layer color is in a different color so this is the topmost layer and if it is the topmost layer then this is the highly summarized form of data so why i'm calling this uh, the form means this topmost layer is a highly summarized any idea how many one okay no problem so this is highly summarized because we are considering all the attributes as single one right means we are not dividing them into different attributes we're considering them as single one so whenever you are considering like that you you this means what you try to summarize the facts so that's why this is highly summarized one and we call it as an apex cuboid I hope this is clear now. So come, to the, come to the. Hello. It is coming. Okay, then this is the first dimension. Let's come to this first dimension one. We call it as a first or one DQ box. Look at here. From the all, we come to this. Time, this item, this location, this supplier. So we are trying to partition that into one dimension at a time. Right. This is your time, item, location, supplier. Is up here. Okay, if you try to relate them in our Oracle that those database tables that you have already created, so these are nothing but some attributes, right? The same things that we are referring here as dimensions. So time is one dimension, item is one dimension, location is one dimension, similarly some other supplier is one dimension. So as we are considering only single dimension, one dimension at a time, so this is known as 1D. Keywords. Okay, good. Now coming to the next one. So this is a ham as a upper senior dimension jo hai wo bartizare. When we are moving downwards, actually the dimension being increased. I hope you all are agree with that. Let's see. First one is the zero dimension, then one day now I'm coming to the which one. 2D keywords. Okay. So see now time and item. Right. Now I'm trying to consider both of them at one time. Okay, example, I'm taking I'm consider Similarly, time, location, one, time, supplier, one. Right. Time supplier one. Then item location, then item supplier, then similarly location supplier. So these things we are considering two at a time. And what the, how you are going to treat this? See, time and item. Let's simple say example that I'm going to Yes, in January month, suppose kya kya items jo hai, kya kya item of the company ke zada profit kama hai. What are the items that that achieved the highest profits in the month of 
तो यहाँ मैंने आइटम और टाइम दोनों को एक साथ कंसीडर किया है राइट right. सो so, इसी तरह सपोज ये तो आई टाइम एंड आइटम हो गया ये समझ में आ गया आप लोगों को सिमिलरली सपोज इन जोरहाट गुवाहाटी डिब्रूगढ़ हुई रीजन दिस प्रॉफिट इज मैक्सिमम फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी राइट सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू मींस कंसीडर लोकेशन विद द टाइम सो दैट्स अ टाइम लोकेशन सिमिलरली वी विल गेट दैट फ्रॉम व्हिच सप्लायर I mean supplier, similarly item location, location supplier, item supplier. So in that way, you will get to the keywords. But if you notice carefully, you'll see that whenever we are increasing the dimensions, the thing is more clear to you. Okay. So, जितने भी आप dimension बढ़ाते जाओगे, उतना clarity आपका data representation में आ रहा है. I hope you all are agree with that. इस तरह आप थर्ड में आ गए दैट इज थ्री डी के बॉच राइट नाउ दिस दीज आर टू कम्बाइन डैम विथ वन मोर थिंग लाइक सपोज टाइम आइटम आई एम ट्राइंग टू कम्बाइन विथ लोकेशन सो टाइम आइटम लोकेशन सिमिलरली टाइम लोकेशन सप्लायर टाइम आइटम सप्लायर देन आइटम लोकेशन सप्लायर मैं तीन चीज को एक साथ कंसिडर कर रहा हूँ राइट मीन सपोज यू आर कंसिडरिंग वन आइटम से लैपटॉप लोकेशन सप्लायर सपोज डेल यू आर कंसिडरिंग दिस थ्री टूगेदर एट टाइम देन दिस विल बिकम योर थ्री डी क्यूब ओके now in this case as you can see that we are starting from the port so that maximum thing the maximum dimension we, we may have from here from this is port dimension so the port dimension one will be what time item location supplier and this will call as what 4d base cube ठीक है समझ में आ गया सबको तो दैट्स दैट दिस इज द वे दैट वी आर गोइंग टू रीड दिस टाइप ऑफ मल्टी डायमेंशनल के पॉइंट इन द केस ऑफ डेटा वेयर हाउस डेटा मॉडलिंग रिमेंबर वी आर स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग व्हाट डेटा मॉडलिंग टेक्निक्स एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विल कम लाइक डिफाइन व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अ पैक्स क्यूबॉइड ओके then conceptual modeling of data warehouse different conceptual modeling are there like star schema snowflake schema pack consolidation so modeling data warehouse we are considering dimension along with the measures for a star schema a fact table in the middle connected to a set of dimension tables snowflake schema means a refinement of star schema where some dimensions hierarchy is normalized into a set of smaller dimensional tables forming the shape of a snowflake i know that you all know what is snowflake right so this snowflake schema this term is given to this type of schema because it takes the form of a uh, snowflake then we have galaxy schema or we can call it as a fact constellation also the multiple fact tables the dimension tables used as a collection of stars okay that's why i'm calling it as a galaxy schema so these are three main schemas that you ha all have to know in our data modeling techniques let's try to go through examples each of them the first one is star schema in fact i can say that this is the most frequently used one when you go for this type of uh, suppose that a scientist job or like uh, you are a ml or machine learning analyst then you'll you'll see that this type of schema we are going to use most frequently then star schema means what pack table will be in the middle like i'm considering here as a sales pack table ab sales pack table mein kya kya tha pack table i already define it you are going to tell me what is pack table okay all of you so pack table maine bataya tha aap logo ko jisme आपका की रेफरेंसेस है एंड सम मेजर्स है लाइक दिस इन फॉर दिस पैक टेबल्स ऑफ दिस सेल्स आइटम की 
टाइम की ब्रांच की लोकेशन की देन मेजर्स लाइक डॉलर्स यूनिट शोल डॉलर शोल एवरेज सेल्स दिस दिस फैक्ट्स आर देयर इन दिस सेल्स फैक्ट टेबल एंड दे आर रेफरिंग सम अदर टेबल्स डाइमेंशन टेबल्स सो दिस इज टाइम डाइमेंशन टेबल इन द टाइम डाइमेंशन टेबल यू विल फाइंड टाइम की डे डे ऑफ द वीक मंथ क्वार्टर ईयर सिमिलरली ब्रांच फॉर ब्रांच वी हैव ब्रांच की ब्रांच नेम ब्रांच टाइप Similarly, this, this, all this unitual dollar shows, uh, average sales. You can put it one measures table. Then similarly for item, we may have this item key, item name, brand type, supplier type. These are the attributes for this item table. And similarly, location, location key, street, city, state, country. These are the different attributes for the location table. Now. Look at this schema, this diagram very carefully. So it takes the form of a star, right? Up start, up he look down, draw कर लेना ये सिस ठीक है. तो this this takes the form of a star because sales fact table is in the middle and the other dimension tables are connected like this. Okay, so as it is taking the shape of a star, so we call this type of schema as a star schema. Now this is one example from my side. You try to bring one more example, and you will draw for that star schema, and you will show it to me by taking the snaps of that. Uh, Star, star schema, and we'll so uh, you'll post in the group. Okay, I'll check that. That's that's where I will stop now. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.